All right, so there's no on again, off again about this guest. He is a host of Smile Jamaica. You mm -hmm. probably see him more than, than mm -hmm. us sometimes. Mm -hmm. Family Relational Health Specialist, uh, Mr. Anthony L. Gordon, is here to give us a relationship checkup with a few questions to ask ourselves and determine if we should keep it or sweep it. Now, no the questions right. are from msn.com, by the way. Good morning, sir. Good Always morning. Always great to see you. I hope you had a great Christmas day. And, uh, it was good. Wish you all the best, sir. It was good. I miss Dela Dela and I were all together, always. Enjoy always, Christmas. Oh, always. It was just good. So much so that he brought <laughs> us We nothing. did some gardening, too, for that Oh, you night. did some gardening? Oh, yes. We tended the tomatoes and other things. <laughs> This is usually the time I've read that this is usually the time when people get very introspective, um, start to look to their relationships, what's going to happen in the year ahead. Mm -hmm. I've mm -hmm. also read that most people make decisions about leaving relationships in January um, of, of any year because it's a, it's like a rebirth, a renewal. Is that is that correct? Yeah, uh, it's like the take stock mm -hmm. and determine, well, should I continue? Should I go forward? Should I drop it? Keep it or sweep it? Keep it or sweep it. Right. All right. So some of the questions we need to ask ourselves, mm -hmm. um, based on this list, msn.com, mm -hmm. am I giving more than my partner? Okay. Well, let's... And giving in this case would mean what? Uh, given what? Giving Everything. into keeping the relationship. Okay. Truth be told, a relationship should be a mutual vested interest. Reciprocal. Right. Mm -hmm. And if for any reason one party feels that, listen, I'm the one who is keeping this relationship, I'm the one who makes the calls, I'm the one who does the text, I'm the one who gives and gives, then for some reason I'm going to say, wait a minute, but this is dragging on me. Ideally, a relationship should be kept by both as you said already reciprocal mm -hmm. i give and you should not be watching and so okay i'm going Keeping to give codes. on condition that mm -hmm. you do we mm -hmm. love each other mm -hmm. but so that's the idea should so come I, naturally yeah so i shouldn't say well i mean i'll call you know it's me calling last time so. <laughs> listen I am not going to get into this. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, please don't. No, but that being very serious. But right you're right. You're yeah. right. You're right. If you find, Matthew, you should love the person enough to want to naturally call. Yeah. But if there's a trend setting in that I'm the only one who's calling, yeah. then I'm going to feel a bit of, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm investing more than, and you can't mm -hmm. help but feel it. Are you both caught up in the blame game? Okay. It's understood that in relationships, uh, things will go wrong, things will go awry. And I should be mature and responsible enough to accept that, hey, I made an error there, I made a mistake. The challenge with some relationships, the persons are always looking out to blame the other. Mm -hmm. I'm defending myself. And by the way, let me establish this. If in a relationship, you have to feel the need to protect yourself against the other one, that's not healthy. Red flag. But Sir Anthony, yes, sir. if we quarrel mm -hmm. and is she causing, mm -hmm. what is wrong with me saying, what is you causing? What's that's wrong? quite fine. But... But isn't that... Um, uh, no, no, that's not that apportioning blame. Honestly, if you say, look here, sweetheart, I think you're the one who really raised that wrong. You placed it there wrong. Then that's quite healthy. And you, but you should not be doing it, by the way, sticking her with a sword. You wrong. And, you know, you should do that with an understanding, by the way, that there will be coming my time when I will be wrong. So I said, may I just honestly say to you, I think that's where you went wrong. And, and an apology should be forthcoming. Absolutely. And if you find yourself having the same discussions over and over again oh, with the same means, apology. Right. That means that the, the, the healing did not take place right. and he or she did not accept responsibility. Because yes. I do say the best apology is changed behavior. Absolutely. Okay. Do you and you enjoy partners? doing the change. Right. Do you okay. have your partner's best interests at heart? Okay. Some persons go into relationship very selfish, very self-centered. What's in other words, they use the, the the business term bottom line. What's mm. in it for, for me. me? Right. Truth is, if we love each other, I should be looking out for your well-being. 
and you should be looking out for my well-being. So you know something? Ideally, there should be a kind of a healthy competition. Mm -hmm. We're really into it for each other. Anytime it begins to reach the point where I have to look out for what is for me, you're not giving me, I'm not getting from you, that's a red flag. Red flag. Mm -hmm. Right, never's red. All right, can <laughs> <laughs> Sorry can you communicate you. everything you're feeling to your partner? Okay, now, let's talk about that a little. Yes. Ideally, again, you know, so I keep using the word yes. ideal because in a relationship, we strike the ideal. Mark is the reality. Okay. Uh, communicating. You should be able to communicate uh, uninhibitedly. Mm -hmm. That is to say, can I level with you? This is the way can I, I feel. Can I tell you the truth? Can I tell you the yeah, truth? Can, can, we, the truth. can we have a heart to yes, heart? Yes, yeah. That's the kind of a thing you want in a relationship. Are there some things, though, that you should not tell? Ever. Are there parameters, are there boundaries yes, in the interest you know. of? Right, because if you sense that the issue could uh, infuriate the other one, cause undue stress concern, deal with it. Uh, and if you feel right, by the way, that it's really something sensitive enough mm -hmm. that should be dealt with, but you're not sure if you two can handle it, seek professional help okay. at that point. Okay. Are you in love with them or just the idea mm -hmm. of them? What mm -hmm. a question. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you what that says now. Wow. Are you in love with them? Some persons love other persons because of what they can get from them. Yes. That is to say... Jai, jai. Yes. <laughs> Man. The truth is, and any time they get what they want from them, that's it. That's it. Yeah. that's it. You should love me for who I am, and I love you for But who some you people are. are also just in love with the idea of being in love. Yeah. And so they play that game. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, they see other people and they might think it looks good, so they want to try it. Well, it's, but it's, it's, it's more the idea and not the relationship. Absolutely, the idea, not the relationship. And after a time, you know, it will reveal. Mm -hmm. The other one will discover that, and let me tell you the strong word, that I'm being used. And there's nothing can be more detestable in a relationship than to feel that, wait a minute, so you really didn't yeah. love me. Yeah. You just love me because of what I could that's, mean That's resentment you. right there. Correct. Do you need to feed your relationship? Uh, you know what it says. You must put in and I must put in. If again, it, it resembles something we dealt with before, mm -hmm. but feeding the relationship really means that you are putting into it so that the relationship can thrive, can get ahead. After all, we, as I used the word earlier, we both have a vested interest in this. I'm putting in, you're putting in, and we are both enjoying it okay. together. Unfortunately, we have to go, so we have a couple more, but we have news coming up, and we have all some right, long breaks right. this morning. Great to see Happy you. Happy relationship always, for 2019. Thank oh, you bless you. All of you. Yes. Yeah, man, thank Still. you very much, sir, and say hi to Miss Delphi. I certainly will. Yeah, man, God bless. Right. Family Relational Health Specialist, Anthony L. Gordon. Mr. Anthony L. Gordon. Sir. Agreed. <laughs> I'll soon come back.